In this video, we're going to show you how to get started using the road and traffic system. So, in your scene, go up to traffic system in the menu and spawn a traffic system prefab. Click on the prefab and you'll see there's a bunch of options that will run through some of these now. Under road pieces, you'll find there's a whole bunch of road pieces you can spawn. You'll want to look for the road version 2 new pieces because uh, they're the newest ones from version 2 but you can use any of the pieces you want so we go to two lanes straight piece and we'll spawn one of them so we click that and we'll go and find that in our scene there it is being the very first piece you'll find that you'll need to save it first and what you'll see is this icon here is a Piece called, uh, an icon called the anchor piece and this is important because uh, I'll get to that in a sec but this is the anchor piece for now so what we'll do is we'll spawn another piece and we'll spawn another straight piece and you see there's a different icon on top and it's called the edit so this is the edit icon this is the anchor icon by default the system works as it always spawns from an anchor piece and spawns the edit piece and it also links from edit to anchor by default in the blue in the blue lanes are always the primary lanes it takes into account so what you want to do is you may not have the road in the right location so over here there's a bunch of options that says uh, the one that we're going to use is next attachment point and you can keep clicking that till it gets into the right attachment point for you if it's not in the right rotation, you can actually rotate that and it'll put it in the right way. But uh, the first spawn was the correct way we wanted it. So let's leave it there. And also you've got a lot of options here to reveal and link certain directions for the lanes. And the reveal buttons have just come into version 2. So reveal means you can check out what it's going to look like first and before you lock it in. Uh, reveal, anchor to edit anchor to edit, reveal all, edit to anchor, edit to anchor, so we do that and then in the direction flips. Uh, you can reveal, reveal all, anchor to edit, same lane, so it means if there's multiple lanes, it only links the lanes that are in this, in, uh, have the same ID. Uh, reveal opposite means that if you somehow make your road network join up to um, a pink lane is meant to be connected to a blue lane, you can do that as well. And you can also link just one lane if you have the, uh, if they have the means to do that. So that's the one we want, the reveal all anchor to edit. So we'll lock that in, we'll save that out, and we will spawn another piece. You'll notice once you save, the last piece that was the edit piece becomes the anchor piece. So we create another straight piece and instead of having to spawn and link and spawn and link what you can do is you can go to the traffic system and turn on auto link on spawn and that will allow you to link the two pieces automatically when they're spawned it'll always go default and go to edit so that's why we're getting it in that direction which is the correct direction we want we save that out and we can do that even faster provided we've got the direction correct and the um, attachment point is correct as well. The quick spawn will mimic what you've done last. So if we want a few of these now. We turn those two options on here, auto link on spawn and quick spawn, and we can hit that button as many times as you want and it'll keep mimicking what we did last. Okay, so let's turn quick spawn off and let's go down the other end and set that as the anchor so now we're still linking from this piece and let's spawn a two lane straight piece new and we'll, we'll put it going in the opposite direction on the attachment point there but you can see that the direction is now going from anchor to edit and it's going the wrong way now so what we need to do if we were to start spawning that way is we need to flip the direction of the link uh, which we can do quite easily so we delete that piece, we come up to here and we can either hit on auto reverse anchor to edit so that it knows when, this, when it's spawning and linking automatically it will reverse it and it won't go from anchor to edit, it'll go from edit to anchor. 
So we spawn our straight piece using that and you can see that it's now flipped the direction. We save that out. We can do this manually as well if we turn these off. Spawn our straight piece and you can go reveal all, edit to anchor, uh, edit anchor to edit is not the right way. Then we go edit to anchor which flips it for us and that's what we want so we lock that in. Okay, so we save that out. Let's come back down this end. Let's create a loop uh, so we can see our, our network in action with some cars on it. So we put that as the anchor and we go down and we're going to create a loop this way so it means that the pink lane is going to be on the outer. So what we want to do is spawn a two lanes turn pink outer piece which is the new road version 2 section and we've got these options to rotate so we'll rotate it so we're, it's in the right rotation and what you'll find is some pieces if you don't see them join up correctly they have an offset to make them join up correctly and this offset can be applied using the next attachment point using the edit offset which is this piece because it's the edit or next attachment point using the anchor offset so you can use the anchor offset to um, position it as well so let's try next attachment point using the edit offset so it's going to use this this road pieces offset and we get to the right location and it's done that correctly so there's three buttons there you can try to make sure it fits properly but that being said, if it's not correctly right anyway, you can move it around until you get it in the right location because they're all tile pieces um, that can be manually manipulated. All right, so now we want to link these up. So we want to go anchor to edit because the blues are headed in that direction, as we can see with these ones. Uh, so then we reveal all anchor to edit and that looks about right. Save that out. And then we save the road pieces so then that piece becomes the edit we want to do a straight piece now two lane straight piece we'll need to rotate it and go to the next attachment point which is incorrect because this piece has an offset so we're going to be using the next attachment point using the anchor offset now because this piece has the offset and to double check that you can click on the pieces and each piece has an offset itself set here if we were to click on this one this one's not going to have an offset it's zero, zero, zero. So what we want to do is we want to use the anchor offset because that's the piece with the offset. Um, and you click that a few times until you get in the right place. And it's still not correct because each piece um, has additional options to flip the offset size or you can negate the offset size. So what we want to do here, I believe, is we want to flip X to Z and Z to X. Um, and probably negate the offset as well. But you can try these it's rather quickly. So that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to flip the offset and it gets it in the right position. Again, if you know if you get into trouble and you don't understand some of these things and what they're doing, you can click on this, easily manually manipulate it into the, in the location you want. It's just that the custom tools allows you to do this as well. So let's save that out and uh, oh, we didn't link it, so there's a good option. If we go back and we use that as the anchor, and we can set that as the edit, then we get our linking options again. What we want to do is reveal all anchor to edit, because that's the anchor, that's the edit, and we end up getting our links again. So we save that out, and we want another lane, uh, corner turning piece, which will be outer pink, on that. We want it in that rotation and we'll want to rotate using the edit because this doesn't have an offset, this one does. And we want to turn on flipping it because we had to flip it last time and negate it and it gets it in the right location for us. Reveal our links and that's that piece done. Let's get our straight pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and build this. Um, you, you just hang in for a second. We'll get our loop done and then we'll see the traffic on it. Uh, 
Uh, here you can see that the lanes uh, have now come into an opposite direction. So blue is going to link with pink and pink's going to link with blue. You've got two options here where you can flip, oops, sorry, flip the the road piece so it can actually line up in the right direction. Or another option, if you don't have that option, is to reveal the opposite um, lanes so they'll link up together as well. But the the easiest way to do it is probably to keep them in the same lanes. So we link that up, save that out, and we will continue on. Another way you can do this, so that we don't end up having to flip these all the time, is you can spawn a straight piece. Oops, sorry, spawn a straight piece that doesn't have auto linking on. Reveal opposite, which that's in the wrong direction, so reveal it the other way. Link it up, save that out, and now you can go ahead and spawn them more quickly. It's in the right direction, so. See, that's where the opposite direction comes in handy. And let's go and link these both up. And you'll be linking in the opposite direction again. Yep. The opposite lane, sorry. And that's it. That's the loop created. Now, if we save that piece out, and under here you've got uh, vehicle prefabs, 
we've got a couple here. We'll just use the default one, which you can find under prefabs, vehicles, types. It's the full car, uh, full test car, not the auto player one. That's a different one, which we'll explain in a, another tutorial. That's the car that you want. Um, it's already actually added, and it should be when you create your scene. I would drop the prefab in, and the additional options we've got here are a random vehicle spawn per node. So it's gonna take each of these nodes, and if we enable that, it's gonna take the next option that says random vehicle spawn chance per node, and it's a, at the moment it's a 61% chance of spawning a vehicle when it goes to spawn it on a knit or initialize. Uh, and then you've got additional things that are global to each of the vehicles where it sets the um, minimum velocity, the maximum velocity, the global speed limit, if the cars obey the rules um, to global speed limits. And then there's some um, global speed variations and global lane position variations, which allow you to uh, tweak if you want to. These are just added options. And uh, when we go to explain the, the car in full detail in one of the next tutorials, we'll explain these a little bit further as well. So as long as random vehicle spawn per node is on, when you go to play yeah, the scene, it will spawn these vehicles for you. So if we set our camera in this position, align with what we've got, and we press play, and you'll see our cars using the traffic system. And that's uh, the first basic tutorial of how to use the road and traffic system and we'll get into a lot more uh, detail with it in the next few tutorials. Thanks.